welcome you once again to our series 10 minutes with jesus and we are talking about understanding purpose just before we go into today's session this particular session let us pray father in the name of jesus i pray for all your children who are listening to me all over the world i pray oh god that your word will minister grace into their hearts lord i pray that you take over these lips of clear and speak your words in the language that we understand in jesus name Thank you. Last time we were talking about understanding purpose and we outlined some questions that we were going to answer and we answered the first question, who am I? Now we want to answer the second question, where am I from? Where am I from? This second question talks about understanding your origin and your source. And I said at the, at the intro, if you don't know where you're coming from, how would you know where you're going to? And once you're disconnected from your source, like every other thing, if electricity is removed from source, of course, the power goes out, the light goes out, and darkness takes over. I pray that will not be your portion. Your light will always shine in Jesus' mighty name. I'd like to read you a scripture from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, from verse 1 to 7. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, from verse 1 to 7. And this is important as I read. Please read along with me wherever you are. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say i have no pleasure in them while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened nor the clouds return after the rain verse 3 in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinder cease because they are few and those that look outside the windows be darkened and the door shall be shut in the street when the sounds of the grinding is low and shall rise up at the voice of the bed and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Verse 5. Also when, when they shall be afraid of that which is high and fear shall be in the way and the almond tree shall flourish and the grasshopper shall be a burden and the desire shall fail because man goeth to his long home and the mourners go about the street. Or ever the silver cord be loosed, or the golden ball be broken, and the pitcher be broken at the fountain, and the wheel be broken at the cistern, verse 7 and the last, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. The spirit shall return unto God who gave it. In the first part, we covered who am I, and we said a man is a spirit who possesses a soul and who lives in a body, and your spirit man is the real you. In the passage we have just read in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 7, it says that the spirit will return to its source. The spirit will return to God who gave it. And that is why it's important for us to know that God is our origin. God is our source. And by and by, we shall return to that source. In Psalm chapter 24 verse 1, Psalm chapter 24 verse 1, scripture says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And the world, watch this, and they that dwell therein, they that dwell therein, everybody in this world belongs to God because God created man, God created us. And it's important that you understand that you come from God. It gives you a sense of direction. It gives you a sense of grounding. It gives you a sense of origin when you know where you're coming from. When we were young and we were leaving the house for the first time, either to go to boarding house or to go to school, our parents would always call us and say, remember the son of whose father you are. And that word kept us away from doing things that we shouldn't ordinarily do as young people or things that we would have followed others to do. When you remember your origin, when you remember your source, when you remember the kind of home you come from, there are some things young fellow young people will ask you to do and you will not do it. It's the same way when you live on this earth with the understanding that you come from God, that you come from the family of God, and you remember the son of whose uh, the, the son of whose you know uh, uh, whose son you are, who your father is. When you remember that. 
That means that there are some things others can do, but you cannot simply because of who you are. You carry royalty with you. You carry God in the inside of you. Scripture says, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So you are living with that sense of understanding, that sense of origin, that sense of source, that sense of knowing that God is your source, God is your origin, God is your father, God is your daddy. I like the way our father and the Lord calls God daddy. I mean, it shows that relationship. Scripture says that we have not been called to the spirit of fear, but the spirit of adoption, whereby we call God Abba Father, showing intimacy, showing our sense of groundedness, showing our sense of knowing where we come from. I pray for you, wherever you are in the world listening to me today, that you will leave this session with the understanding, I come from God and I'm going back to God. Bible talks about the men of faith who lived and who lived as if they knew that this world was a passing faith because their hope and their eye was on a city that was made and built by God. I pray that you will leave this session with that sense of awe, that sense of understanding, that sense of captivation, knowing where you come from. Colossians chapter 1 verse 16. Colossians chapter 1 verse 16. Scripture said, For by him were all things created, that is Jesus Christ, by him were all things created that are in heaven that and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, watch this, all things were created by him and for him. All things were created by him and for him. You have to say amen to that. We are created for him. We are created by him. We are created. The Bible says that we may give him pleasure. A beautiful song mixed out of that scripture say, And thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created i mean the essence of it is that you have to know where you are coming from when you know where you're coming from you're not moved by what you see scripture say we live by faith and we don't live by sight because we know where we're coming from we know whose we are we know to whom we belong we know who is rooting for us we know who is standing for us I mean, the son of the president doesn't go around fearing and being afraid and all of that because he's the son of a president. And the presidency only lasts for four years, maximum eight years. But what if you are the, pre- the son of the president of presidents? What if you are the son of the king of kings? What if you are the son of the owner of the whole universe? That is who you are. Do you live with that sense of understanding? Do you live with the sense of that confidence? And that is what this series will do to you. When you understand your origin, you walk with your head held up high. You walk with that confidence, knowing that God is for you. He's the one that says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That is the commitment of a father to a daughter or to a son. He's the one that says that I am with you always. He is, that is the commitment of a father. It's a family commitment. Once you belong to the family of God, that commitment is over your life. And you can live with confidence, knowing the source, knowing where you come from. And so I really want to pray for you today. Wherever you are in the world, listen to me. That God will become your source, not just intellectually, but you will feel it in your heart. Would you mind to close your eyes and let us pray to the Almighty God today? And so we pray and we say, Father, in the name of Jesus, for everyone who is listening to me, anywhere and everywhere they are in the world, I pray now, O God, that they will come to understand, they will come to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, and in so doing, accept Jesus as their source. Accept Jesus as their beginning. Accept Jesus as their ending. And they are in between. The Bible says our life is hidden in Christ in God. I pray that will be the portion of everyone listening to me. If they have wandered far away from God and from the kingdom and from our family, Lord, please bring them home in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that this transformation will take hold and take place in your hearts today as you're listening as you're listening to me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now, if you pray that prayer, I guarantee you and assure you, you are born again. Congratulations. And because you're born again, you need to join the family of believers all over the world. You need to join a Bible-believing church that is close to you. Just find a Bible-believing church that is close to you. And if you're anywhere in Lagos and in Aja, I invite you to our church, RCCG Every Day with Jesus under Lagos Province 43. We would like to mentor you. We would like to disciple you. We would like to show you the word of the Lord in a loving family environment so that you can grow in your walk with God. And I know that there are people who live in other nations of the world. You can also join us online. We have a strong online presence. Our church is online. We are in all social media, on Facebook, in Instagram, on TikTok, on, on WhatsApp, all the social media. You can find RCCG every day with Jesus. And we disciple people online wherever they are in the world. You can join that train. It's a moving train, a global train, and that is going on. So today, I want to just anchor you one more time. 
God is your source, as you understand that, then you truly understand purpose. And I'd like to see you in the next session. We can talk about the next question. God bless you. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you.